Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about yet another project that recently got listed on Coinbase. And this project is called Orca or the ORCA token, right? Before we move on to Orca, I just wanted to talk to you guys about Gate.io. So Gate.io is one of the most uh, popular exchanges to list cryptocurrencies or tokens right before they get listed on major centralized exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase. This means you have the opportunity to buy cryptocurrencies way before they make uh, 20, 50 or 100x in gains. And by using the referral link on the screen or the description below, you also uh, get an opportunity to uh, make, uh, you know, 30% of your trading rebates, uh, you know, in Gate.io and also have an opportunity to make a uh, 100x uh, or 50 to 100x gains by investing in cryptocurrencies that get listed in Gate.io before any other major exchange, right? But by using the referral link, you are actually supporting the Brutal Investor Channel itself and for that, I thank you in advance. So going back to the coin market cap page for the Orca token, uh, you know, this video is only going to be a peripheral analysis about Orca, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your money on this token. And we are going to be relying on information presented on coin market caps page along with their website itself. Uh, but you need to do your own in-depth research before you want to dabble with this crypto, right? So what is Arca? Arca is the most user-friendly DEX on Solana. Again, that's pretty much the only uh, sentence in this paragraph which provides a lot of information on how a project like Orca, which is one of the many DEXs that are available on Solana, just got listed on Coinbase, right? The reason being, it is a project that is one of the most user-friendly DEX on Solana, and that is one of the many reasons why it got listed on Coinbase, right? So Orca is one of the first general purpose AMMs launched on Solana. Users can swap assets, provide liquidity and earn yield through an easy to use interface. So one of the key features of Orca is that it is one of the first general purpose AMMs on Solana. So it is a general purpose uh, automated market maker unlike many other automated market makers and it allows for users to swap assets, uh, provide liquidity and earn yield through an easy to use interface. So that's basically how Orca manages to be a popular uh, DEX on Solana. Projects can use Orca as a money Lego to easily integrate swapping, farming or on-chain data into their DAP. So if you are trying to uh, you know, create your own DAP or uh, your own DeFi application on top of Solana and you want, uh, you know, a comp uh, an already existing DEX to link with your DAP or DEX, you can do that using Orca's, uh, you know, money Lego feature, basically allowing you to integrate swapping, farming or on-chain data into your DAP, right? Orca strives to provide easy and effective financial tools for everyone bringing DeFi to the masses. So its its main goal is to provide ease of access as well as a very strong and effective financial tool which allows uh, DeFi to be proliferated to the masses, right? So that's basically uh, the quick overview of Orca on CoinMarketCap's page. So let's go to their website itself which is orca.so in order to uh, do your own research, please go to this website because there could be a lot of copycats. So when you go to this website, right at the bat, you can clearly see it's a pretty simple website. It doesn't really have a lot of um, crazy graphics or animations going on. Uh, so they're stating, welcome to Orca. Orca is the easiest place to exchange cryptocurrency on Solana. So it is one of the most user-friendly and easy places to uh, exchange cryptocurrencies on the Solana blockchain. So here they're saying first time here, read our launch blog post or check out the setup guide to start trading. So one of the other benefits of this platform is the fact that they are providing a tutorial for people who are very new to the crypto space. So if you are using the Solana blockchain or Solana apps, you probably already would have some prerequisite knowledge in DeFi or cryptocurrency. But for people 
who don't really have that knowledge and they are recommended to use a, a platform like Orca, Orca has got you covered because they have uh, platforms uh, and posts that help you understand uh, their project and how to use their platform, right? So when you scroll below, you can clearly see try $8 ARB to AC Cello. This is kind of like how you can uh, kind of like trade uh, and they are giving you hints uh, every step along the way. So here you have their um, automated market maker decks um, where similar to Uniswap, you plug in the numbers and you swap between two assets, right? And if you scroll below, again, you need to have a uh, Solana wallet, uh, the most popular Solana wallet is Phantom wallet. You can download that. It's similar to MetaMask, pretty straightforward to use. And the best thing about Solana is that transaction fees are extremely low compared to Ethereum and they are extremely fast compared to Ethereum as well, right? So it seems like Solana being one of the fastest growing blockchains uh, is going to definitely be uh, you know, a platform that will be used uh, in conjunction with the Ethereum. Now that Solana has a lot of competition, uh, it is definitely, you know, trying to do its best to make sure that it has dApps and a strong user base who can use uh, their platforms and be loyal to the blockchain. And platforms like Orca is enabling that to happen, right? So when you scroll below, you have all the social media information. And obviously, like in the top right corner, you have pools uh, where you can provide liquidity to. It's similar to Uniswap. You pretty much have a lot of uh, you know uh, pools, and you can technically earn uh, rewards by providing liquidity and staking your LP tokens in the staking pools. I think they also have like Orca staking as well, where you can basically stake your Orca tokens to earn rewards, right? So pretty much like a typical Dex slash money marketing uh, platform, which uh, is existing on the Solana blockchain, right? So nothing really exciting uh, or really unique about this platform. It's just one of the most user-friendly as well as easiest platforms to use on the Solana blockchain, which is another many reasons why Coinbase has listed this, right? So going to the coin market cap page for Orca, this platform uh, or this token is currently ranked 2,843rd by market cap on coin market cap and is currently trading at around $3.63 at the time of making this video with about 0.13% uh, increase in the past 24 hours again. It is a uh, token that is ranked way back in the market cap table and it is a good uh, uh, you know uh, thing that this platform or this token is obviously listed on Coinbase but even after listing it on Coinbase this token price hasn't really done a huge you know growth. That's because of the fact that a lot of people still aren't aware of the Solana blockchain, the Solana ecosystem, especially many retail investors. And even within Solana ecosystem, people are not really familiar with Orca or some other platform. And therefore, they are not really sure whether should, they should buy it or not. And there's also, uh, if you see, the logo itself is very unique. Uh, it's like a fish uh, or a shark or a dolphin-like logo, uh, which kind of like, um, you know, makes it seem like pancake swap kind of vibes. Uh, like a kind of like animal logo, uh, the two like a fish logo is definitely something that many people may be like uh, second guessing to buy. Uh, but obviously, it's a really good project on the Solana blockchain. I personally use this, and I believe that it's a really uh, you know convenient tool. Uh, it's just uh, really surprising that uh, you know uh, many projects on Solana, which are really high quality, haven't been listed on Coinbase, but Orca has been listed on Coinbase, right? But when it comes to the market cap uh, numbers itself, you can clearly see that this token only has a market cap of. 53 million dollars this again has to be taken with a grain of salt because the number is uh, you know it's there's a caution sign next to market cap which means this num uh, market cap could not be fully relied upon uh, but at a, any given point of time i believe that this project has a market cap of somewhere between 45 to 55 million dollars in market cap which seems to be a reasonable kind of like market cap price point uh, and also a project that definitely has uh, you know a lot of traction uh, including a Coinbase listing, this market cap is only going to go, go higher. And I think Orca is going to be one of the most leading DEXs in uh, the Solana ecosystem, right? When it comes to the max supply, this token has a max supply of 100 million tokens. Uh, definitely scarcity is built into the system, which is really cool because uh, a token with more than 100 million tokens as max supply is definitely going to be uh, dilutive in nature and there's going to be a lot of uh, price lumping. But at the same time, if you can clearly see that the, the max supply uh, being fixed and is equal to or less than 
final main tokens there is definitely a high chance that each and every token uh, each and every ARCA token could be worth a lot more in the long term right because of the tokenomics itself and if we see the self reported circulating supply seems to be 14.7 million tokens so again this is about 14.7 percent of the max supply but this again has to be taken with a grain of salt because it seems like there is a caution sign next to it so maybe at any given point of time that could be less than 10 million tokens uh, and we need more information because it seems like this token is a very uh, you know uh, bottom of the barrel kind of token in, in when it comes to rankings coin market cap does not uh, you know has not had the kind of like the motivation to do uh, research before they ver you know, verify these numbers but once this token starts becoming more and more popular and the platform itself starts becoming a, a platform that becomes cross chain which is also one of their many plans uh, there is going to be a lot of chance that this tokens ranking would increase which means we will have a lot of uh, most up to date information about this token right but for now we can probably say that uh, the circulating supply could be somewhere between 10 to 15 million tokens out of the max supply right. So when it comes to the markets of uh, the price uh, action itself you can clearly see that Orca has not been doing quite well uh, recently and only after the Coinbase listing this token started kind of pumping uh, slightly in, in the anticipation of this token and now it is kind of like cooling down. When it comes to initial price point the token was worth $2.29 and this was uh, again as of 10th of August 2021 and it immediately started rallying up to a, a new all time highs of close to $12 per token but it was only here for a few kind of like minutes before crashing back down to a price of $5.12 as of uh, 18th of September. Uh, it was uh, going upwards again touching the $20 mark uh, as a new all time high and this happened sometime during uh, you know October of 2021 and then it crashed below reaching a price of $9.39 and then it reached a new uh, relatively second all time highs of but close to uh, $19.04 per token and then it was slowly decreasing from there uh, you know, you know clo close to uh, $4, $3 as well as uh, recently it hit a relative uh, lows of about $2.20 in fact this seems to be like the all time low price point uh, as of uh, you know 28th of January but after the Coinbase, the Coinbase announcement this token obviously started rallying up to a price of about uh, you know $3.81 and now it is starting to decline in price point and is currently at $3.64 right. So if you want to buy this token this is definitely a good opportunity to buy this token because you are still buying it at a very good discounted price from $20 per token uh, but if you want to wait I think this token will kind of like slip. Uh, below the $2.20 uh, $2 or $2.50 mark which will be a good opportunity to buy this token right. So that is something that you can probably wait for but if you still buy this token at this price point you are still buying it at a really good discount right. Uh, when it comes to the Bitcoin comparative again this token was doing pretty good in the Bitcoin comparative as well. So this token was worth 5000 Satoshis uh, uh, initially in 2021 uh, August of 2021. And then it started rallying to an, uh, to make an, a new all time highs of about uh, 2200 satoshis per token before crashing down making 1000 uh, 10000 uh, sorry 1000 satoshis per token then it rallied to a new all time high of close to 4500 satoshis per token before crashing back down to less than uh, you know uh, 1500 satoshis per token and then it went back up and then down and then it was steadily declining to a uh, to a price point of about uh, you know 616 satoshis per token and after the coinbase announcement the token crossed above the 1000 satoshi mark and now it is kind of going trying to go below the uh, 1000 satoshis mark right. Now it is kind of like below the 1000 satoshis mark and that 938 uh, satoshis per token which again I believe that this token can go even below the previous um, you know pre previous uh, even even to the previous price point of about 600 satoshis per token which will be a really good opportunity to buy this token because again with dollar competitive and bitcoin competitive this team this token seems to be pretty far away from its all time highs thereby making it a token that is a really good uh, price potential to buy right. Uh, when it comes to the markets itself this token is listed on coinbase already and coinbase obviously provides the biggest liquidity for this token uh, again k.io which is also a really popular exchange has listed this token as well so you can buy this token from k.io using usdt. Uh, you can also buy this token from MEXC, Radium and the ARK exchange itself but I would not really go below the ARK exchange because uh, you are only looking at tier 3 or tier 4 exchanges right. 
But I think Coinbase, Jetta.io and MEXC are top uh, centralized exchanges to buy this token from and Radium and Orca are decentralized exchanges on Solana to buy this token from, right? What's my final verdict on this token guys? I think this token definitely has a good potential. It's a very uh, simple and uh, easy to use DeFi DEX platform that allows people in the Solana ecosystem to uh, have a clean and easy to use uh, user interface. Especially some DEXs on Solana could be really, uh, you know, co quite complicated to use and it's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, ease to use Orca to do the same functions as like some of the higher level dApps on Solana. And uh, Orca is also probably going to be the pancake swap of the Solana ecosystem because it definitely provides a lot of, uh, you know, user, uh, new user attraction features including swapping, providing liquidity, staking liquidity and so on and so forth. So I think uh, Orca is uh, poised to definitely pump in the future and I think with the price slumping, uh, you know, for in the short term, that's the only negative thing that will happen because the token supply is quite low compared to its max supply, right? Uh, therefore, I would probably say that the price prediction for this token sometime in the next month or so would probably be more than, uh, you know, 15 to 20 dollar per token, which is definitely a possibility. But in the long term, which is again 3 to 5 years from now, this token definitely has a possibility of uh, crossing the 30 to 45 dollar mark, which will definitely be a good opportunity to sell this token uh, if you are hodling this token for the long term. And if you do hold this token, you can basically stake it uh, on their own uh, page and earn a passive income from that, right? So there's definitely a lot of opportunities for Orca and uh, you know, as the Solana ecosystem grows, Orca will also continue to grow, right? Again, before we conclude, I just want to let you guys know that if you want to buy tokens like Orca or any other uh, you know, low market cap gem token, Get.io is the best place to buy. And I suggest you to, uh, you know, create an account if you haven't already. And if you use my referral link, you will not only be supporting the channel, but also be increasing your chances of making 50 to 100 X on the next potential crypto gem, which you purchase on Get.io, right? So again, when it comes to, uh, you know, research, I suggest you guys to do your own research because Orca could uh, appear to be a little bit of a, uh, you know, like a pancake swap like DEX, which may not be preferred by everyone but it is a good token, right? Again, remember guys, you guys are not regular investors, you guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.